We really can't give the virus any chance. It will establish itself and spread widely exponentially. In the two regions with outbreaks, Moncton and Campbellton, some businesses are closed and there are additional rules to follow, including mandatory masks even in some outdoor public spaces. This includes parks, playgrounds, markets, dog parks, etc., anywhere you may be sharing space with many others. School children in the so-called orange zones have to wear masks most of the day and extracurricular activities are suspended. We've been privileged here in New Brunswick to have uh, had some of our closest contacts with the disease for a long time, being fear and a bit of anxiety when we see an out-of-province license plate. But now the disease is here in our province and active. While the province says contact tracers have tracked down close contacts, there is concern from other provinces in the Atlantic bubble, with Prince Edward Island's chief public health officer discouraging non-essential travel to the affected areas. So this is uh, the outside of uh, my restaurant. This Campbellton restaurant remains open. The owner hopes the That's new restrictions restaurant. work. We have to support each other. It's everywhere. Uh, we have to stop letting our guards down. Campbellton is just across the river from Quebec and the Listigouche Mi'kmaq First Nation. More than 100 students from that community usually go to high school in Campbellton, but have been moved to online learning amid tightened border restrictions. How do you make sure that our students still feel connected to that school when they're told to stay home and the other students are allowed to go? That high school is closed to all students for at least a couple of days. And the province says the next two weeks are critical for all of New Brunswick to stop these outbreaks quickly. Alison Northcott, CBC News, Montreal. Okay, joining me now is the New Brunswick Chief Medical Officer, Dr. Jennifer Russell. And I want to ask you about mandatory masking outdoors, because if we know that the disease isn't primarily spread there, why make masks mandatory there in these so-called orange zones? This is an extra measure that we're taking in terms of precaution because we know that from an, a compliance perspective, one of our triggers to, to go backwards or forwards includes uh, public health uh, compliance with, pub, or sorry, the public's compliance with public health measures. We did a, sur a survey. We found that there were many places around the province where people weren't uh, uh, adhering to the masking policies indoors, but we also saw a lot of people who were congregating in public settings outdoors. Okay, additional measures, I understand. But again, if outdoors isn't the central arena, aren't you worried that people might see this as an overreach? I hear exactly what you're saying, and obviously any public health measures that we take during an outbreak should reflect, uh, who should match the risk level. So we are very conscious and very aware that that is what we need to do in each phase, whether it's red, orange, or yellow. We are a very small province, and getting an outbreak under control quickly uh, with the fewest number of people involved possible is critical for us to have uh, success in not overwhelming our healthcare system. So this is why we're taking these extra measures. One last question for you. If things continue on their current trajectory, is there any discussion about New Brunswick leaving the Atlantic bubble? So I've been in constant contact with the Chief Medical Officers of Health in the other Atlantic provinces, and when the bubble was set up with the agreement of the Premiers at the time, uh, the understanding was is that we would each continue to monitor the situation in the other provinces, and if there was something that, uh, from a risk management perspective and a risk assessment perspective, that warranted any changes, that they, they would be done on that time based on the risks. At this point in time, we're, we're confident that we've got our contact tracing done, the close contacts are isolating, and we have about 14 days ahead of us to monitor the situation. Okay, we'll leave it there. Dr. Russell, thank you so much for joining us. Thanks, Andrew.